Welcome everyone to another Miracab Monday. Hold on first. Ah. Tastes like main character syndrome. Before we begin, I keep forgetting to promote my personal art page channel thingy, simply titled MK. It's just a place for me to host my non-wrestling videos and like my music love bombs, movie reviews, stuff like that. Also my short film from the David Lynch Masters program in Iowa, and even more eventually, a documentary on my final days there when my best friend showed up to take me home and I was like a complete freaking wreck of depression <laughs> and purple hair. And we went and visited the Star Trek Museum, and um, that was fun. So subscribe if you want some extra content for me, uh, link in the description, it's just, it's not an important place for me for like views or anything like that, it's just a place for me to just have art for the sake of having art, you know? You gotta have one of those, this is what this channel used to be before it concentrated fully on Joshi Wrestling, so. Today's injury report is Unimism Mori, has unfortunately been injured as well, and as many of you know, not spoiling, Tam Nakano are far, far more injured than expected and had to drop their respective goddess and red belt titles. <laughs> it's unfortunate, like... Damn, you know, like, like damn. Poi and Ana were just getting started, but honestly, I don't think they would have made it past Micah and Megasus anyways, you know? It's such a power team, and I also want to know how sad people are that Micah won the Goddess League with Megasus and not Himeka. Eesh. They really should have won last year. They, they really should have won. Micah and Megasus are 100% the next Goddess Championship. You can bet on that. As for Tam, it really sucks for Tam because her reign was stuck in the middle of like the grueling five-star Grand Prix. And her feuds were just essentially just being really, really, really mean to Mina. And then Monster of the Week performances against Megasus and Natsuko Taurus. And her red belt reign was just definitely underwhelming. With her best match being the match that she won in against Julia. And what a hell of a match to actually have though because I was that's one of my favorite matches this year. So I hope Tammy recovers well, because like we are probably in a twilight of her career if we're being honest. So we gotta enjoy Tam while we can, people. Gotta enjoy Tam while we can. So how does stardom answer the injury problem? Well, another tournament. <laughs> Before I get to that though, you know, they, they got a new president and the president is a lot more respectful and uh, understanding of what the wrestlers want to go through. And apparently Rossi Agawa was like stuck making decisions that weren't him and like the management above him were making decisions that he necessarily didn't agree with. That might explain some of the more iffy booking. If you could say, so the new president did say they're going to lessen dates, um, lessen big events, and then next year's five star, they're not going to have like pay-per-views in between the five stars. Very smart stuff. Give them like rest when they need to. So looking forward to it. Now, as for this one night tournament, the winner faces Suzu Suzuki for the red belt. We have Micah, Momo Watanabe, Mina Shirakawa, and because everyone is injured, I'm sorry. I know people have their diehard favorites that they relate to very, very strongly like their K-pop idols, but the only answer for this win is Micah in my opinion. Meanwhile, Suzu is facing Hazuki to defend her right to challenge at the end of the year. And that's a foregone conclusion, folks. Yeah, I mean, Hazuki has no chance of winning this, nor should she, honestly. Suzu won the five-star Grand Prix. If you want her tournament win to actually, you know, mean something in her already scuffed tournament, she cannot lose to someone who wasn't even close to winning it. Suzu versus Micah seems like the match, and honestly, I can see Micah winning that one because then you can have the third match down the road. But regardless, I still think that you should strap the rocket onto Suzu's Suzuki and just fly it on. She's a 21 year old prodigy and just take take it to see where it goes, people. Just take it to see where it goes. But this person here on Twitter had a genius idea. You don't have to vacate the belt from Tam Nakano when you already have a perfectly healthy Tam Nakano right here. The fake Tam Nakano. Now, Ishikawa. She's still calling herself Tam Nakano on Twitter. I mean, that's awesome. Have now come out as Tam Nakano with her little cardboard red belt and demand that she defend the red belt in honor of herself. <laughs> It writes itself, honestly, I think, you know? It's not even that far-fetched of an idea for Japanese wrestling. I mean, Chocopro, whenever Emi Sakura has to go to AEW overseas and Chocopro books her for a match, they just do this instead, you know? It literally happens 
all the time. So let me know who you'd like to win the red belt down below. And also, where do you think Sayori Ono oh, ought to go from here? And by the way, if you're not saying, oh no, like that, if you're not saying, oh no, like the Elden Ring narrator, you're doing it wrong. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Practice that in public and see if you don't get looks. <laughs> so that's all for this week. Do check out Gotham Moon's recent live stream and their Rivals event. So for those who don't like the chocolate square aesthetic of regular Choco Pro, Gotham Move is their in-ring product. So you get to see these wrestlers really show what they can do in a normal ring, really. And they're very, very good. It's, the entire show was good from top to bottom. And to be honest, I don't really watch shows, wrestling shows, from beginning to end, stardom included. I just, I just don't. But I do with Gotham Move and Choco Pro every single time especially watch the main event of cdk versus best bros and do stay tuned for january next year as may suruga faces kevin watch more choco pro i need to catch up on tish i'm gonna do that soon but the next video was the patreon poll winner sue young i know sue young right sue young won the latest patreon poll beating out tony storm actually happens so i can't wait to do that it's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun i'm very 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 familiar with the lore i was watching at the time oh 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 and watch i'm a virgo on amazon prime oh my god watch i'm a virgo on amazon prime by boots riley director of sorry to bother you watch that movie too but really watch this series that's me using this tiny platform that i have to push a socially conscious series that is unique amazing and has messages that that I really need to be listened to, digested, and studied. It's like the most important piece of art in like that I've seen in like recent memory. I'm not even joking. It's, it's, it's so good. It's so good. It's like so good to the point that I'm surprised Amazon put it up. Like, whoa. But um, that's all I gotta say. So I'm just gonna enjoy this Pepsi and enjoy my main character, Sinjin, for a little bit longer. Bye-bye. Oh, God, it's too much. You know the only difference between Pepsi and Coke is that there's lemon. <laughs>